If you found this video helpful, or if you want to help support our channel so we can make quality content, please support us on Patreon. We'll have a link below. Thanks for watching. We got our first five limes, juiced them up, ready to get rich. Drive and lift versus scooter charging for lime or bird. Howdy, y'all. Today I'm going to talk to you about whether you're going to get rich driving lift or charging scooters for lime. So I want to let you know I drove uh, for lift. I just started. And uh, for the last month, uh, I picked up an extra, uh, I think, almost $400 like 368, 69 bucks. And I drive extremely part-time. Uh, I have a full-time job where I'm a handyman and assembler. Uh, plus I do YouTube videos and uh, green projects and all that kind of stuff. And so I do a little bit of gig work on the side to get some extra money. So I want to tell you the comparison between Lyft and charging Lime scooters. So uh, I've gone out to charge Lime scooters three times. And uh, I want to let you know that there is a huge difference from charging scooters to driving Lyft or Uber. So first thing, driving Lyft, uh, it's great because you have the ability to uh, wait for a job. When they send you a, a job to pick somebody up and drop them off, you say whether you want to take it or not. You get to see their stars. There's no stress whatsoever. It's to and fro. Now, you might have a bad passenger here and there, but it's relaxed. Your blood pressure's not getting up, and it's just a good time. You know, you ask them if they want to listen to music. You drive, get them from A to B, and, and you help people out. Now, with scooters, this is a cutthroat, bloodthirsty uh, gig. So, you know, I've been out there a couple times. The first two times, I got zero. Um, you know, I was pretty excited the first day uh, when I was going to pick up four scooters just like that. Uh, and I was waiting at 9 o'clock to be able to pick them up. And they were out of the zone and they were fully charged, so they didn't need to be charged. Uh, I picked up these five uh, scooters today. These are the first ones that I'm actually going to be charging uh, because it, where I'm located in San Antonio... Uh, we've got, it's all, all basically downtown and we've got a lot of one way streets, uh, a lot of two lanes, uh, or opposite directions, one lane each way. So you got people that are illegally parking, parking up on curbs, you know, cutting you off and, um, you know, uh, just ruthless, you know, and for me, you know, I'm not going to be rude. I'm not going to break the law. I'm not going to get a ticket that erases all of my profits uh, you know, get a $200 ticket for illegally parking and, you know, erase a whole week or a month of profits, you know, that's, I'm just not going to do it. And, uh, so like today I was actually, uh, grabbing some scooters to charge and I had three lined up. I was able to scan, uh, the first two. And as I was scanning the second one, some guy came up, grabbed the other one and scanned it while I was standing there with the freaking scooter. Like, you know, I'm not going to fight somebody over a four buck scooter. It's just, it's ridiculous. So, you know, if you're thinking about charging scooters, whether it's Bird or Lime, or you're thinking about uh, doing ride sharing with Lyft or Uber, if you have a car that qualifies for Lyft or Uber, I would definitely, um, you know, select that. You know, it's still, you're going to get tons of tax deductions uh, for both. But with Lyft and Uber, stress-free, Go from A to B, pick up people, you're nice to them, pretty much they're nice to you, and you're going to make more money with less stress driving Lyft and Uber. So hopefully that was helpful. I'm going to drop these off in the morning, and then I'm probably going to sell my chargers to somebody here locally uh, because I don't need to be driving around for two hours, you know, three hours, uh, you know, trying to get cut off by people and, and jumping back and forth to make 20 bucks where I could be at home with my family, I get a call, I go pick it up, make some money, come back, spend time with my family, no stress whatsoever. So hopefully it was uh, informative, hopefully it was helpful, hopefully it gives you a little bit of uh, information and uh, you know you can decide uh, what works for you. I know there's some people out there that make pretty good money. Uh, I see people with trucks and trailers you know, carrying tons of birds or a bunch of these limes, but is it really worth the stress? Is it worth a ticket? Uh, is it worth possibly getting in an accident because people are driving stupid and crazy to get these things? That's your call. So.
you let me know.